Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Uh, today is February 18th. We're going to do your weekend astrology report for the 18th and 19th. Let's see what's going on with y'all with the energies for this weekend. Um, hope you're all doing well. So we, we're now past the Saturn-Sun conjunction, which has brought up a lot of stuff, um, clearing out a lot of deep, deep karmic debt that we need to clear out as we're coming to the end of this cycle. Now, this cycle is really the eclipse cycle. We're, we're still kind of in the middle of that, but because there are so many layers and so many pieces to the puzzle that are clearing where we're like where we're not it's 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 like a wrecking ball coming in for our consciousness saying the universe saying hey it's time to open your heart live in your heart um and accept your gift accept your future accept um accept the direction that your life is going and that acceptance comes with a big feeling of the unknown like it kind of feels like, okay, I know something's coming. You 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 can feel that some big, big change is coming, but we don't really know what that change is or entails. And in order to be able to really accept that, um, there are certain karmic lessons and certain karmic agreements, whether it's in relationship. Well, it's all has to do with relationships, but relationship to another person, you know, in an intimate relationship with money with you know attachments or addictions our relationship to all these things um is where we're seeing where the dysfunctional aspect of that and when i say dysfunctional it just means that the part of us that is sort of self-sabotaging or the wounded child or where we give our power away in some way shape or form is all coming up and it's actually being shown to us coming up to this new moon in pisces not to mention tomorrow uh, we have the sun coming into Pisces, and this is going to be a critical <clears throat> point because as at we because we just had this Saturn um, Sun conjunction, right? <clears throat> Next um, tomorrow, well, late tomorrow night into my early Monday, like right around midnight is when the new moon is going to be. <clears throat> uh, that's Mountain Standard Time, and <clears throat> with this. New moon at one degree that still conjuncts Saturn. There's a very karmic essence to this energy. And then Saturn is going to come in about a month and conjunct one degree of Pisces. And then it's going to retrograde back in October and then retrograde back again in December. So this is actually the start of a, a cycle where we're clearing out some deep, deep, deep karma. Pisces is the last sign in the zodiac. One degree, this is also the fifth and final of five uh, new moons at one degree. The next one will be at zero degrees, which is even more unique and auspicious. I mean, zero degrees of Aries is literally the very beginning of the Zodiac while we're also shifting um, Saturn and Pluto next next month. And um, you guys can check out my March uh, monthly astrology report. I got all the details in there about all that going on. Next month is going to be fucking wild, dude. Just fucking wild. But anyways, um, today, uh, you know, we also have the moon, you know, shifting between Pluto and Mercury, and it's going to square the nodes with Mercury. So now we've been getting these messages, right, um, about the maybe the steps we have to take or getting clarity on what's really bugging us like at, before leading up until this especially right around the saturn sun conjunction it's like the feeling comes up it feels uncomfortable like ah, i don't really know what to do with this energy now the awareness the communication the understanding the connection between the heart and the mind like trying to put together the pieces of the puzzle in the analysis of understanding what's going on in our heart and then moving through it um, one step at a time while the Neptune in Venus is now, you know, Venus is now coming to the end of Pisces um, and about to move into Aries. So a lot of this ending, it's like the last bit in peace and part, and we may be tempted to, um, to escape. There's a lot of temptation for escapism here. Uh, of course, also, too, we have to put into account the Jupiter Chiron conjunction that's slowly and slowly getting closer, which is also going to be another culmination point next month. So a lot of energy is coming on this weekend in particular. We're shifting from a very fixed energy of bringing stuff up, 
clearing it out, purging it out to the um, to the more mutable energy of uh, Pisces, where it's like, OK, now it's up now. Now we see, you know, like uh, that we need to take action to transmute this energy. Of course, Pisces, I mean, uh, Venus being at 29 degrees of Pisces is, um, you know, saying, all right, another cycle has come and gone when it comes to how we receive. So this is about what do we feel worthy to have? Um, where are we going to honor ourselves in new ways coming into this next phase? And what there's like a part of us, a part of our soul. I feel it's literally like past life parts of ourselves or higher dimensional parts of ourselves that are integrating into our consciousness. that are coming in to, um, to come alive or be born and that birthing feeling process. Um, it's a soul birthing energy. And because it's a soul birthing energy, a lot of things we're feeling and doing and being, we may not understand. And our ego wants to figure it out. It wants to break it down and wants to analyze it. And that's where we have to be careful not to get into analysis paralysis. Okay. But I actually feel like this, um, this new moon is going to be very auspicious. Let's let, let's see exactly, uh, exactly the, the aspects going on here. Um, one degree. So Happy birthday to all my Pisces out there. Um, I hope you're doing really well. And I, I'm, I'm praying that this is going to be a very powerful and auspicious uh, year for you. Although I'm going to say most Pisces coming this year are going to have um, Pluto and Saturn at their anorectic degrees. So if, if anything, it's going to be a very intense year for you guys. So uh, let's see here. We have, of course, the South Node that sets a quadrate over to... It looks like Vesta, and I'll say loosely Venus. Um, Venus at the at, uh, at the new moon is at literally 29 degrees, 58 minutes. The very last, like about to jump off the cliff, so to speak, of, um, of Pisces stepping into Aries. And of course, you know, we're coming into a place where all these energies, Venus, then the moon, then the sun, um, are all going to be crossing that zero degree Aries point. Um, and then, of course, we're going to have that new moon there next month. So whenever these planets, these energies get closer or come through over to zero degrees of Aries, it's like, it's almost like when you're constipated and you finally get to take a shit, right? <laughs> it's like, it's like, Ooh, all right, finally got that shit out, <laughs> literally. Um, and then it's, 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 it's sprouting that new clarity, that new understanding, the new freshness, the lightness in your body, like your soul's like, ah, finally, all right, now I can, now I can, you know, I cleared that energy, now I can get to work, right? Um, uh, you know, and this is a process that, you know, especially as light workers and star seeds and, you know, healers and whatnot, we have to be, um, we have to be willing to really surrender at new and deeper levels, because we're being infused with our gifts, with our power, um, and with new levels of creative energy, uh, and, uh, this creative energy is, is something that we have to trust. We have to, you know, let go of that analysis paralysis, you know, the distractions are so strong right now. And there's a lot of feelings, a lot of things that are coming up, but, um, it's all preparing us, right? It's all preparing us for this next chapter coming up. So this weekend, um, I would set intentions, uh, for this new moon in Pisces. Let's, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, sit and really focus on, write it down if you can, um, the new story that you want to create in your life. Um, there's a lot of stories that are coming to a close. And in order to be able to be the conscious creator of the life that we want, we must really set our intentions and focus because where our attention flows, um, our creation goes. So if our attention is on all the difficulties and all the feelings of stuckness and all these things that the darkness is trying to do to keep us from having what we want, then we're going to manifest more than that. We're going to manifest it very quickly. If our attention is on connection and community and unity and, 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 you know, doing what we love and, and, you know, living in our purpose, then we're going to get more of that. Okay. Now I, I, I truly feel that the angels, the guides, they're on our side, you know, um, 
you know, the, the great spirit is, 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 is guiding us and giving us these very strong feelings. The, it's, it's like a tractor beam that's just fucking pulling us right up and out of all of our shit, but we can fight it, right? That ego can definitely fight it. So be kind, be compassionate to yourself, move through it, you know, with grace, the best that you can reach out, do not isolate yourself, you know, um, take the time that you need don't try to force things right now like like well always but especially right now the feeling of divine timing is in incredibly powerful alignment okay so i hope that you all have a beautiful weekend uh if this message resonates with you please like share and subscribe if you'd like to get a session with me go ahead and uh click the link in the description box below please follow me on ig bio underscore wizard underscore and i will see y'all on the next report Ahoy.